children. Hello, Mommy Pastor. Welcome to Sunday School. Today's topic is Daniel and the King's Food. This story is taken from Daniel 1, 3 to 27. Let's begin Lesson 116. The king ordered the chief of his court officials to find some special men to serve the king's palace. The king gave them food and wine from his own table. The men were trained for three years before entering the king's service. Daniel was one of the men chosen to serve the king. Daniel decided not to defile himself by drinking the king's wine or eating the king's food. Daniel asked that he and some of the other men eat only vegetables for 10 days. After 10 days, Daniel and his three friends looked even healthier than the other men who ate the king's food. God gave Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego special knowledge and understanding and they entered the king's service. The king found these four men to be ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters in his whole kingdom. Daniel was given the ability to understand visions and dreams of all kinds. For additional details about the story, please read Daniel 1, 3 to 21 in your Bible. Hello, Mommy Pastor. Hello, Matrix. How are you? I'm super. Very good. Quick question. Okay, I'm listening. What is fasting and why do we fast? Fasting is the laying aside of food for a period of time when the believer is seeking to know God in a deeper experience. It is to be done as an act before God in the privacy of one's own pursuit of God. Fasting is a way to demonstrate to God and to ourselves that we are serious about our relationship with God. Fasting helps us gain a new perspective and a renewed reliance upon God. For example, 1. To strengthen prayer. 2. To seek God's guidance. 3. To express grief. 4. To seek deliverance or protection. 5. To express repentance and to return to God. 6. To humble oneself before God. 7. To express concern for the work of God. 8. To minister to the needs of others. 9. To overcome temptation and dedicate yourself to God. 10. To express love and worship for God. Just to mention a few. <laughs> I understand. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome. Hello, Mommy Pastor. Hello, Pixel. Are you ready for today's memory verse? Absolutely. The man who eats everything must not look down on him who does not. Romans 14, 3. Wow, you've got it. So proud of you. Thank you. You're welcome. 
It's question time. Are you ready? <laughs> How long did Daniel train to be in the king's service? The men were trained for three years before entering the king's service. You are right. What did Daniel decide not to do? Daniel decided not to defile himself by drinking the king's wine or eating the king's food. Where is this found in the Bible? Great job. What did Daniel eat instead of the king's food? He drank water and ate fruits and vegetables. Where is this found in the Bible? You got it. Great job. Now, let's take the last question to our viewers. What did the king think of Daniel and his friends? You've been paying attention. I like your answer. Okay, let's get another answer. I agree. Good answer. May I have another? All right, let's get a final opinion. Yes, and yes, and yes. Did I say yes? <laughs> All right, boys and girls. That wraps it up for our Q&A session. It is now time for game and activities. I will see you on the other side. Bye. Hello, you are in the activity room. Here's your challenge. When Daniel first came to Babylon, he ate only fruit and vegetables. Unscramble the words in the foods and write them in the matching blanks. When you are done, you'll read about Daniel's life. Here's your super challenge. Look at the pictures for 30 seconds. Then, Turn over your paper and write down all the fruits and vegetables you can remember. You have 90 seconds. Are you ready? Let's begin. Corn. Watermelon. Peas. Mushrooms Pineapple Cherries Orange Asparagus Grapes. Here's your super challenge. Look at the pictures for 30 seconds. Then turn over your paper and write down all the fruits and vegetables you can remember.
great job. You did it. Let's review today's memory verse. Okay, let's remove some words. Time's up. The man who eats everything must not look down on him who does not. Romans 14, 3. Great job. Hello kids, it's time to bring the word of God to life. Are you ready? Yes! Alright, let's look at Isaiah 40, 31. But those who trust in the Lord will become strong again. They will be like eagles that grow new feathers. They will run and not get weak. They will walk and not get tired. Say, Lord Jesus, I want to be like an eagle that grow new feathers. I pray, Lord Jesus, help me to trust in you that I can be strong and do exploit in Jesus' mighty name. There you go. The word of God comes to life in you. Go in love and obedience in Jesus' name. Bye! Welcome to Bible Drill. Do you have what it takes? Okay, let's begin. Name the next three books of the Bible after the book of Amos. Obadiah, Jonah, and Micah. You've been studying Matthew chapter 13. Here are your questions. Are you ready? According to the parable of the sower, the seed that fell on the roadside refers to who? It refers to people who hear the word of God and do not understand it. According to the parable of the wheat and the tears, when did the enemy deem it convenient to sow the tears? While men slept. According to the parable of the sower, the seed that fell on the rocks referred to who? People who accept the word but have no root, so they endure for a while. Very good. Your turn. Are you ready? All right. According to Matthew 13, Jesus likened the kingdom of heaven to blank, feeling the blank. Here's the answer. Did you get it right? Very good. Thank you. That wraps it up for today's Bible drill. Over to you, Mommy Pastor. Good day, Hello, Mommy Pasta. How have you been? I'm fine. How are you? Great. I'm good. Glad to know you're doing fine too. I dropped your meals in the mailbox already. I just had to stop by to say hello. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Bye. Guess whose birthday it is this week? Yes, you guessed right. Happy birthday.
celebrate many glorious years to come in Jesus' name. today's memory verse in the Bible. Bye, Ted, bye, Ted. What did you learn? job. What does today's memory verse mean to you? Uh-huh. Hmm. Great. You paid attention. We are so proud of you and you should be too. children that concludes our lesson for today let us pray heavenly father thank you for teaching us today thank you for all the listening ears and hearts you touched may your words continue to be engraved in our hearts in jesus mighty name we pray amen okay guys that is it for today now don't forget to share the story with a friend. All right? Yes, Mommy Pastor. Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye. Yeah. Bye.